This is Keith Fraser for Seconds Out. We're here with Cody Davis, who fought tonight on the undercard of Joe Joyce, who successfully won in the first round tonight in his bout. But here we are with Cody Davis. I want to ask you, Cody, how did you find your fight? Was it a difficult fight for you? It went, obviously, uh, the distance. How did you find? And it's a learning curve, obviously. Yeah, it was nice to get the rounds in with um, an experienced guy. His, um, his record doesn't suggest that he's, he's much of a danger, but you know, I've been getting lots of messages on social media that you know he's a banger and don't trade with him, blah, blah, blah. So I, I kept my mind on, on the task in hand and um, hopefully managed to show the I had a great TV slot, so hopefully, hopefully managed to show the public a bit of what I can do. And um, got the rounds in and probably performed on a, about 70% of my ability, so I'm, I'm fairly happy here. Now the super middleweight division is obviously a very strong division. How far can you go, do you think? I think I can go all the way, 100%, without a shadow of a doubt. The look at my guidance, I've got Gavin Meese in my corner, former world champion himself, you know, God's on my side. I've got great support. I've got, you know, my training, my training regime is second to none. I've trained uh, all over the world as an amateur in, in Team GB for a couple of years. We had the best facilities. And, and this, this and that, but what I'm doing now is just is way, way levels above anything I've ever done before. I don't, I don't, I think when I'm on my game, I don't think there's nothing, no one that's going to hang in there with me. And going forward, who do you see in your path? I mean, you've had, now this is your fifth fight, right? Yeah. Obviously, you know, you're still on the learning curve. Who do you see in your path going forward at British level and obviously looking forward maybe in the next two years, three years at world level? Well, I'm in boxing to do one thing, and that's to win titles. So it's, it's nothing personal. If, if somebody's got a title, then they're obviously on my radar. I'm not in boxing to make up the numbers. I want to go to the top. So it is what it is. If, if you've got a title, then I'm, I'm gunning for you. And how do you see that you can improve? What are you working on a gym? As you say, you've got an experienced trainer. What specifically is he helping you on, and how are you looking to improve? Well, um, we're looking to improve on my, my power punching and my finishing opponents off. And again, a bit of a killer instinct going on, like um, like Gav the Rock Gav. Well, listen, we wish you the best of luck. Thanks very much for talking to us. We we'll wish you best of luck in your future career. Appreciate it. This is Keith Fraser for Seconds Out.